this is a lecture 15 in signals and systems in the previous lecture lecture 14 we have seen what is the LTI system and uh, we have solved convolution between x of t and x of t that is for continuous time signals how to find the convolution or how to find the y of t if x of t and h of t is given right and uh, now in this lecture we are going to see discrete time signal convolution so I was, once again I will write y of n is equal to sigma k is equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k is the convolution sum or convolution between x of n and h of n and it can be written like the x of n convolved with h of n right these are the two formulas we need to use so this is the representation and this is the procedure to find the, the output response by a friend. And now whenever we are solving the uh, this discrete time signals we need three formulas. So the first one is if sigma some n is equal to 0 to infinity some a power n is there and it will be 1 by 1 minus a when mod a less than 1 right or simply a less than 1 a should be less than 1 right next second formula is suppose n is equal to 0 to some constant capital n and this is a power n so it will be 1 minus a power n plus 1 by 1 minus a again a less than 1 right the third formula we need uh, this one is suppose there are two constant this is constant this is constant and some a is there or some one is also there no problem so it will be a into upper limit minus lower limit so minus of minus plus one so this is a into 2n plus one these are the three important formulas when you are doing the convolution of uh, discrete time signals we need these formulas so just remember this or so write in a piece of paper and paste on your study room right next we will see the example so how to do the convolution between two discrete time signals given so similarly whatever we have taken for the discrete time signals same we will take suppose x of n is equal to a power n u of n and here a less than 1 <coughs> and h of n is simply u of n now how to proceed this one same as the continuous time signal this is n and this is x of n now if n is equal to 0 a power 0 is 1 so here it will start from 1 and if a is less than 1 means suppose if I take 0.5 so 0.5 over 1 so we will get lesser than this so again lesser than this again lesser than it will go like this so similarly what is u of n u of n is uh, h of n is u of n so it will be something like this so it will be constant amplitude for all time so 0 1 2 3 etc <coughs> now what is the procedure so previously we have changed the domain now also we will change the domain as x of k so it will be represented by k and it will be something like this it will go on decreasing etc so what is this a power k in place of n we need to substitute a power k similarly this one is also k h of k and it is constant at all instant of time now we need to uh, make one is constant and one is shifted version so i will take h of k plus n right so h of n minus k so so i have to take k plus n so it may be small or capital so i will take small because there should be some variation capital means it will be constant so we need to take n now shifted by left so it will be something like this so you can take whatever so it is minus n and so on this is k 
now again we need reversal one so minus k plus n h of n minus k we need so it will become like this this is n and so on like this this is the amplitude is one this is the k right now we shifted the this h of n as a h of n minus k now we do the conversion <coughs> same procedure now this is x of k which is the decrement decreasing function this is the k and this will be something like this this is n this is 0 so for n less than 0 that is a case 1 there is no common region right so this is 0 so this is up to here is x h of n minus k so there is no common region so directly i can say y of n is equal to 0 next case 2 so this will be fixed something like this so if i take this is k this is x of k now if i move this one to here something like this and here n is there right now if you see the common region is something like this so this is the common region right so what is the formula so y of n is equal to now see this is the zero and what is the limits limit is greater than zero so previously n is less than zero now it is only one uh, uh, limit we will get n is less, greater than zero so sigma where k is equal to 0 to n and what is x of k it is a power k into 1 because h of n minus k is 1 amplitude constant is now just now i have given formula if k is equal to 0 to n and a power k and a is less than 1 what i will get 1 by 1 minus a power n plus 1 by 1 minus a and which is n is greater than 0 see 0 to n if 0 to infinity 1 by 1 minus a so, but this is 0 to n so 1 minus a power n plus 1 by 1 minus a so this is the y of n <coughs> now if you keep on shifting this one so you will get same that is 0 to n 0 to n only so this is the final answer so for n now if i draw the waveform of this y of n right n is greater than or equal to 0 i can write because if I substitute n is equal to 0 here, so 1 minus a by 1 minus a, so I will get 1. So I will get something like this. This is n, this is y of n. When I substitute n is equal to 0 here, I will get as 1. Right? This is the 1. Now, if I keep on increasing this n, so slowly it will increasing function because 1 minus a power 1 plus 1, say 1 minus a square, I will get 1 plus a something right but a is less than one already told so when a is less than one so if we keep on increasing power infinity so 0.5 power infinity or 1 by 2 power infinity will get something like zero so slowly it will increase and whenever that is becoming zero so it will lead to something like this the maximum will get 1 minus 1 by 1 minus a and so on right this is the y of n see so i will prove this one suppose if uh, n is equal to 0 it is 1 minus a by 1 minus a so it is 1 when n is equal to 1 so it is 1 minus a square by 1 minus a so a square minus b square so 1 minus a into 1 plus a by 1 minus a so it will be cancelled it will become 1 plus a even a is 0.5 so 1, pi, 1 plus 0.5 is 1.5 so slowly it will increase now maximum is 1 by 1 minus a because if a is in i mean n is infinity and uh, a is less than 1 so it will be 0 so we will get 1 by 1 minus a if we compare this to how can be we say this is a greater if a is equal to 1 by 2 what is this value 1 by 1 minus 1 by 2 so you will get 2 so it is greater than 1 only so it will be the raising function and it will be constant after some time right so this is the y of n right this conversion of these two
similarly you can go for and with this one now one more problem we'll see question number two so h of n is given like this minus two minus one zero one two this is x of n this is n so h of n is also same same bits will be there now how to solve this type of problem now the first one we have to take they change the domain so if i change the domain there is no change here x of k only minus two minus one zero one two this is the k domain minus two minus one zero one two similarly if i change this one this is the k minus two minus one zero one two minus two minus one zero one two this is h of k but we need h of n minus k right now to get that one so if i write like this see h of k is equal to one so the amplitude i will take it as one one from minus two less than or equal to k less than or equal to two zero otherwise now what we need so we can have this type of uh, also so uh, left shift then uh, reversal it will be very easy h of n minus k we need and this will be one but in place of k we have to replace n minus k less than or equal to two now what are the limits these limits so these limits will be something like this so i need k limits so one case i will go like this ln minus k I need k here so k is less than or equal to n plus t 1 next these two n minus k is less than or equal to 2 so I need k so k is going that side so n minus 2 less than or equal to k so k limits are n minus 2 less than or equal to k less than or equal to n plus 2 now that is simple so what is h of n minus k n minus k you can write wherever these five values but the limits are n minus 2 to n plus 2 this is the k so this is x of k this is h of n minus k now we will proceed the for convolution <coughs> now same we will take minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 this is x of k this is k now the first we can go for case one that is so we have to less than minus two so five so n minus two to n plus two so n plus two is less than minus two right or we can say n is less than minus four so there is no common term so y n of equal to zero directly next we'll see case two now we will push somewhat into the x of k minus 2 2 minus 2 I mean minus 2 to 2 and I will place this h of n minus k somewhere in between so this is n plus 2 this is n minus 2 that means this n plus 2 is greater than minus 2 yes or no that means n plus n is greater than minus 4 and this n minus 2 is less than minus 2 or n plus 2 is less than 2 so n minus 2 is less than minus 2 if this going that side n is becoming 0 so what are the limits 0 less than less than sorry minus 4 to 0 so these are the limits of y of n now how to find y of n so y of n is equal to what is the common point common region this is the common region so minus 2 to n plus 2 so that so k is equal to minus 2 to n plus 2 and the amplitudes are same so 1 right now i told you so this is minus 2 this is n plus 2 this is the constant so what is the value you will get upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so what is the value you will get n plus 5 this is from minus 4 less than n less than 0 this is the y of n if i substitute minus 4 here i will get 1 if i substitute 0 here i will get 5 now similarly 
case 3 what is the case 3 so both uh, widths are same minus 2 to 2 minus 2 to 2 so it should not be same like this so I cannot place one on another so minus 2 to 2 so what is the next move next move is this will be inside that is n minus 2 and this will be outside this is n plus 2 right so what is this condition so n minus 2 is between 2 to minus 2 so if this is going that side 0 less than and if this minus 2 is going this side 4 right i hope you got or we can say n plus 2 is greater than 2 n minus 2 is less than 2 you'll get same so what is y of n the common region of this right so sigma n minus 2 to 2 1 into 1 so what is the value you'll get upper limit minus lower limit plus 1 so what is the value so 5 minus n so this is from 0 less than n less than 4 that's it now if i summarize so what i'll get now yeah case 4 we need to see so case 4 is nothing but we'll get 0 that is minus 2 to 2 and the h of n minus k is something like this so this is n minus 2 to n plus 2 so there is no common region but the limits are n minus 2 is greater than 2 that means the limits are n is greater than 4 what is y of n directly 0 right so y of n is 0 so now if i summarize all the values of y of n 0 when n is less than minus 4 and it is n plus 5 from minus 4 less than n less than 0 and 5 minus n when 0 less than n less than 4 and 0 when n is greater than 4 now if i draw the waveform so this is n this is y of n so it the limits are minus 4 to 4 so it is 0 here it is 0 now what are the values if i substitute minus 4 here what i will get 1 now if i substitute minus uh, 3 i'll get 2 minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 if i substitute minus 2 i'll get 3 then 4 then 5 so 1 2 3 4 5 so this is y of n now when i substitute 0 here i will get same see this 2 will be same and 0 next if i substitute 1 5 minus 1 again 4 so it will be decreasing function similarly like this like this like this so 1 2 3 4 5 if you see this is the looking like a triangular function right so i told you whenever we convolve two uh, rectangular pulses we should get the triangular pulse right so that i have given for you in the previous lecture in continuous time signal but i have solved for a discrete time signal so this is the solvation of the uh, convolution on discrete time signals we have to uh, practice at least 10 different problems on convolution convolution so discrete as well as continuous time signals so take any standard textbook that is uh, we are following the the signal systems by openham so you take 10 uh, different problems on this uh, convolution you do practice then it will be very easy in the gate exam right